springtime, which means fish species such as steelhead and walleye are moving into Lake Michigan tributaries to spawn. Their upstream migration typically stops at places like the Croton Dam on Michigan's Muskegon River. When the steelheads stack up here, so do the anglers. And when the walleye come in, so do the electrofishing boats from the Michigan Department of Natural Resources and Environment. We're here today on the Muskegon River to collect uh, walleye eggs for our walleye rearing program. And uh, so the process in this year, what we're going to do is we're going to collect uh, roughly you know, 100 and 105 females, which will give us about 13 million eggs, which should produce about 4 to 5 million uh, fry that we can take uh, and, and put in our walleye ponds, rear them to about uh, an inch and a half long, and then stock them out into our lakes. And these fish will be distributed at various locations around the state. So the process is uh, first to collect uh, the fish uh, from the river and we send our electrofishing boat out with a crew and they'll uh, collect a whole uh, uh, container full of fish and bring it back to shore and then we sort the, uh, the females that are ready to spawn uh, from those that aren't. Uh, the ones that aren't ready to spawn we throw back in the river. Uh, and then we. Um, from that point, we put them in live cages on the edge of the river, uh, and from there, each fish is transferred uh, to the actual egg stripping operation. Where, but they treat them first in iodine solution, and then rinse that. To, that's to prevent uh, transmission of disease. Uh, then they rinse them with fresh water. Uh, then the eggs are stripped from the females. And following that. Um, they take uh, one of the, one of the other people will take a male and do the same process, the same cleaning process with them, uh, and then uh, mix the milk into into some water and then fertilize the eggs. The eggs are then transferred into a bucket with a clay solution, polar reserve solution, um, and then they're stirred for about oh roughly 15 minutes or so in that solution. And that what that does is it prevents the um, eggs from clumping together because they're adhesive. Uh, and then from that point, then they, they're they rinsed free of the clay solution uh, and they're put into uh, another bucket of water uh, and it takes about uh, at least an hour for the eggs to water harden before they can be transferred back to the hatchery. Now what we're doing this year is normally the fish that we would uh, take the eggs from, we would put them back into a live cage in the river and let them recover and then release them back into the river. Uh, but because we're um, concerned about the transmission of VHS uh, to our to any of our other waters in the state, um, we are uh, actually examining all those fish for VHS, which requires an in internal examination and internal sampling on the fish. So we actually have to kill each fish. <laughs> 